What's up everyone, it's been a while since I've made a Splatoon 2 video because things have been pretty busy lately, but here we are. In the recent patch, 2.3.0, Squid Beacons got a huge buff. They all have this new ability where they can display the enemy's position on your entire team's map, including the direction that they're facing. In this video, we are going to test multiple things with this new ability of the beacons, including sub power up, cold blooded, and more. First, let's go take a look at exactly how big the detection radius is. We decided to go inkbot for this test, so we can use the open space and the tiles on the ground to count the exact distance the enemy is from the beacon. I had my friend walk very slowly until she stopped appearing on the map, and then slightly go back so she reappeared. As you can see here, this is the distance that beacons can detect with no sub power up gear equipped. This is what it looks like on the map, and here's how it looks in person. Note that she is 4.5 tiles in. I was very surprised by how far away you can be detected by the beacons. Clearly, this buff is a big deal for this sub-weapon. Also, I would like to note that I tested being behind various forms of cover, and from what I can tell, you aren't hiding from these beacons. Now let's go ahead and see if sub-power-up actually does anything. I am currently wearing three mains of sub-power-up, and as you can see, the enemy is four and a half tiles away from the beacon just like last time, and still being detected. However, if she walks away any further, she disappears from the radar just like the first time. Sadly, it seems sub-power-up does nothing and does not make an increase to the radius or anything like that. Honestly, I see this as a good thing because the radius is already pretty big to begin with. Moving on to Cold Blooded, the enemy stood 4.5 tiles away again and surprisingly was still being detected. This really surprised me and it's a real shame Cold Blooded doesn't help here because I personally think this would have given some more worth for this low tier ability that really nobody uses. Just for the sake of testing all possible curiosities, we also tried out Ninja Squid. As you can see, the enemy is wearing Ninja Squid and swimming around right next to the beacon and yet is still being detected perfectly fine. We also tested to see if teammates' beacons give the same exact effect as your own beacons do. So we had my teammate place one down and I had the enemy line up in the right spot. Sure enough, the radius is just the same. So your beacons help out your teammates as much as they are helping you. Moving on, if anyone was wondering, I can confirm that sub power up still helps you jump faster to your beacon and still helps your teammates jump faster as well. So in short, the effects of sub power up remain the same. Alright, that pretty much sums it up for this video, and I hope this clears up all the confusion around the new beacon buff. If you ask me, this is a pretty big change, and it makes beacons a lot more viable than they already were, also making all the weapons that they come with more viable as well. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay tuned for more Splatoon 2 breakdowns in the future. Peace. Also, I would like to note that the little circle that pulses around the beacon is not accurate to the detection radius. As you can see, the enemy is outside the little pulsing circle, and yet they are still being detected. 